We are joined by California Republican Senate hopeful and former Hewlett Packard CEO, our great friend Carly Fiorina. All right, Carly, it is great to see you, by the way, and, and you look great. And God bless great for all you. Year. I want to, I read your press release. I know you want to seat Senator Brown. So does President Obama. But I want to ask you the same thing that I asked Kay Bailey Hutchinson. What about the Scott Brown message? The JFK across the board tax cuts, or at a bare minimum, no new taxes, slam down health care and the, and the tax hike foundation that health care stands on. What are you going to say about that? Well, the day I announced my candidacy for the U.S. Senate, I signed the Taxpayer Protection Pledge. No new taxes. We have federal government spending out of control. The voters of California are concerned about just as they are concerned about the jobs, just as the people of Massachusetts demonstrated they're concerned about it. Of course we should have no new taxes. And when we are about to increase our debt ceiling, as Senator Hutchison just mentioned, to $14 trillion, there are only two things things you can do to get that debt under control. You can grow the economy and you can cut federal spending. And cutting taxes is a key ingredient to both of those solutions. What do you think of Scott Brown's whole argument right at the beginning that got so much attention from myself and others? He replayed the JFK across the board tax cutting speech for families, for businesses. It is the fairest tax of all. Lower those rates. Improve those incentives. Get the economy moving on the supply side. Will you join the Scott Brown revolution across the board tax cuts? Well, Larry, you and I have uh, talked together many times. You know the answer is yes. Uh, Scott Brown gave voice to what a whole bunch of common sense voters know. And that is that when you're in tough economic times, you don't borrow more and spend more. You give people more of their own money to spend and you provide incentives incentives for the real job creators in this economy who are innovators and entrepreneurs and small business owners to do what they do best, which is open up opportunity. So yes, absolutely, we have to focus on the folks who create jobs and give people more of their own money to spend. All right, Senator Barbara Boxer today, in a rare moment of humility, actually was quoted in a newspaper article saying if it can happen in Massachusetts, it can happen anywhere. I think she's inferring California. I want to ask you, Carly, do you have Tea Party support? Because that was really one of the invisible hands in the Massachusetts race. A lot of the independent voters, I don't know who they are, Democrats, uh, affiliated, what? Can you go out and get that support? You're running against uh, Chuck DeMore. You're running against Campbell now, Tom Campbell. Where are you going to be on this? Well, first of all, I have great support all across California, all across the nation, and yes, all across the party. Uh, secondly, there have been a whole bunch of polls that have come out, and of course, polls don't mean much right now, but I'll tell you what all the polls say. All the polls say that Bob Boxer is exceedingly vulnerable, particularly among those independent voters with whom her re-elect scores are in the 20s. Secondly, all the polls say that I am the, a very strong candidate and the only candidate who is strong both in the primary and in the general. And third, I think what people are going to find out is that the newest entrant, Tom Campbell, who has run for this office now, this is his third time, I guess, uh, many of his views are indistinguishable from those of Barbara Boxer. He believes the way to close the California budget deficit is to raise the gasoline tax by 32 cents. He wants to legalize marijuana, presumably so he can tax it. I mean, these are views that just aren't going to play with California voters. All right, we're going uh, to give am... Tom Campbell equal time, but I appreciate your point. Let me ask you one more. Um, you're running against Chuck DeVore. Now, some people are saying, I I'm not familiar with the ins and outs of this race, but some people are saying he's the real conservative, he's the real Tea Party conservative in the race. What's your response to that? Well, uh, Chuck DeVore is not able to raise money here in California. He doesn't have support. I'm very proud to have the strong support of very staunch conservatives here in California and very staunch conservatives across the nation. I am a fiscal conservative, Larry. You and I have known each other for years. Mm -hmm. You know that. I share the values of Republican primary voters. And importantly, I am able to find common ground with voters all across California because I can talk not as a professional politician, but as someone who's lived in the wor real world and who knows why jobs come why go who knows who creates jobs innovators entrepreneurs small business owners and who knows a thing or two about actual
actually getting expenses under control and we have to hold Washington DC accountable for every dollar of our money that they spent. All right, Carly Freeman, thank you very much for joining us. All the best in the race.